Hey traders, welcome to my channel. I know it has been a few days I posted an update on my 14 days binary return trading challenge and I want to be real with you about why. Lately, I've been going through a rough part in my demo trading, testing new things like heavy jigabs, 5 seconds confirmation and smart money concepts and I started overcomplicating the process. Instead of forcing trades and faking confidence, I took a step back to rebuild my strategy from ground up and improve my process. During this break, I built a clean and powerful trading journal on Notion to track everything. I mean, setups, performance, emotions, and even gives me a win rate chart to monitor my progress visually. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how I built it, how you can duplicate it for monthly and yearly tracking, and how you can use a simple button to create a new journal entry with just one click. So let's go there. In my previous trading videos, I've been sharing links to this journal. This video, I'll be showing you how to make yours. And what does this journal have? This journal has sessions for you to take record of your trades. And also, to add to what this journal can do, this journal will also, just like what I want to show you, will also help you to take records of your trades for each year, month, June, July. Yes, this is what the journal will be able to do. You will be able to use the chart section to take records of your wins and your loss, your win rate and your loss rate. So I change this to loss. Just change this to loss. You can see it shows 50 50 win and loss rate. So this is what the journal will be able to do. It's very, very useful for you to keep track of your journal for each month and each year. So let's begin. So what you first need to do is you first need to create a page and you name it journal template. And in this journal template, you would create your table view. Your table view that will contain every data that you need for your for your journal that you need for your journal. So we begin. My journal has a column named session. Or trade number it also has a column named date which takes records of the date and it also has a column where i use to keep track of the market spend for each day i take and for this market spend and for this market spend i make it a select option that i used to know if the market is moving in an uptrend downtrend or sideways then I use this to keep track of support or resistance zone. And this is also a select option. So I just like my resistance or my support. And I also keep track of the candle pattern or candle signal that causes me to enter the trade. And this too is this is a text because I can just I just need to write it's the reversal pattern or something else. Then the next column I have here is that what trade decision did I put? Was it a buy or a sell? So this is also a select option. Select option. And the option is either a buy or a sell. And after the trade decision, that's win or loss. Was it did I win the trade or did I lose the trade? So was the trade a loss or it was a win? Then the next is this where I keep track of okay, what we wrong or what went or what went right. Okay, this is enter. Then I keep track of the lessons I learned from each trade. Lessons learned. And I also keep track of my emotions and by asking myself, how do you feel? Now our template is ready. You can add some few things to it. You can add the chat session. You can for this to work, we need to I need to remove I need to remove from this template. If you are not using a pro version of Notion, the paid version, you can only use one chart for each table view. So I have to take take care of this use this chart during this view. So if I come to this trading journal, I just need to add, okay, I need to delete this text.
که بعد شست تو شو یعنی there is this chat select so do not reply then win or loss to be my choice then she sorts by yeah win or loss but I just forgot to add something if you are trading binary options you are trading binary options your select is not just printed win or loss sometimes it will be a draw sometimes it will be a draw so you can add draw I'm saying this is on Twitter. Uh, let's click on this. You can add draw tweet. Tweet or draw. So, so if I click, if I add a new page and I put win win, you see my win win 100%. But one thing I want to add to this my file is. I am only interested in my win or loss. So, okay. I'm only interested in my. So, I'm going to add in my win or loss. I'm going to add my draw. Okay. So, the trading journal is complete. Now, what you need to do if you want, if you enter a new mode. For example, you create a new page and name it 75 year journal. Then, for the year I and mean for the month, you can name it June page. I name it June. June page. So you don't know. Then what we don't need to do is very simple. You come here, you expand this, you expand this, you copy, you duplicate. Okay. I'm simply you duplicate the whole page. But that still can work as well. If you duplicate your page, you just need to move move this down here, and you can rename rename this to July page. So very very easy. We already have June and July. You don't need to duplicate and drop, but you can come in here and duplicate the. Okay, let me show you. Let me try out to do that. If you could if you first create the page and name this August August page, what you just need to do is you can just duplicate only you duplicate without content. Please you click you duplicate without content, you wait for it to show, then you copy and you move into August page. Then you should already have it in your August page. Very very simple. And to add to add one more one more to it, one more function. To add one more function. To create a button function, which you need to create a new action. And the new action you need to create is to add page. And you are adding page to your journal database then you have to create another action which is to open the page you just created then you select page added then you select where you want the page to be i prefer my page to be just by the side and when i click done if i click new button it opens page you want your page to show at the center you need to change your side pick to center pick then let's name this button to new session and change the icon to something nice then done if you click in session it opens just at the center of the screen so that is for now thank you for watching so that's the template i've been working on so now you can build your own or use my template to start journaling today i'll be back with new trade uploads very soon but until you see that even when i'm not posting i am still learning refining and preparing trade smarter if you are going through a tough path like i did don't quit sometimes stepping back and reviewing your own process is the most powerful move you can make if this video helped you drop a comment below and let me know how you plan using the channel subscribe if you are following the channel and let's go together i will see you in the next video